Hello and welcome back. I want to give you a little garden update on how things are growing at my dad's house and what we have gotten in the ground since our last update. Starting over here we have a row of potatoes. These were started from seed potatoes that we harvested from last year. They're just popping through the ground. I have to do some serious weeding over here. Then coming back, we planted some watermelon, or these are cantaloupe seeds. We planted some cantaloupe seeds, so we have some cantaloupe seedlings that have sprouted. I'm going to thin these out, but I'm going to wait until they get a little bit bigger to make sure something doesn't eat them first. We have some more potatoes along here that are just barely sprouting up. And then these couple rows over here are our true potato seeds that we started. And they're growing very good. Interested to see how these turn out. These could potentially all look different when we harvest them because they are not going to be true to the potatoes that we harvested last year and that we saved these seeds from. I think this one looks the best. Another amount of cantaloupe. And here I ordered some sweet potato slips from Baker Creek. This is my first time growing sweet potatoes, so we'll see how those do. I believe the variety was Kerrygold. I'll put it on the screen. And I started out with seven plants. I ordered five, they sent seven. Two were a little bit smaller. And those ones both died off. So we're back to five now. The last mound of cantaloupe seeds, seedlings. And I have two rows of onions. Here's an onion right here. And right here. They're kind of hard to see through the weeds. And then I just have those all along the strip here. These guys are a little bigger, so I'll show you these. I started these from sets. Me and my dad planted these out probably two weeks ago. And they're just starting to take off. And those are a yellow variety of storage onion. We have our loofahs that I still have to set up an arch trellis for. That's probably going to wait until baby is here. This guy, I didn't think it would survive. It has a little bit of transplant shock, but it actually has beautiful new growth on it. So it might live and maybe it'll produce some loofahs for us. And then I have these smaller ones that are doing a lot better. They didn't have any transplant shock. I have six loofahs in total. And this mound is our watermelon. It have beautiful germination. I'm pretty sure every seed I sowed on these have germinated. I was going for two seeds per hole and I accidentally did three in this one. So we'll thin those out when they get a little bit bigger. Two, three per mound. Moving on, we have our Napa cabbage. And that is looking absolutely beautiful. We have a row of eight here. We have four eggplant. And they are putting on flowers now. So it should open any day now. Ooh. We have our pepper plants. Oh, and I just noticed that this one blossomed. It's our first blossom there. We have a lot of flower buds on all of them, but that's the first to blossom. That's probably a jalapeno. I planted jalapeno in Poblano. I'm not sure which one is which, because my dad, well, my dad actually planted those for me, and he didn't know that I labeled the cups, so they get a little mixed up, but we'll know when they come in. This one's a sweet bell pepper, or it's a mixed sweet bell pepper. 
Moving on from that, we have our tomato plants, which are looking great and need to be trellised up desperately. But that will be happening soon. I did notice some flower buds on them. Like here's a few right here. And that row goes all the way down. This is a mix of Mountain Magic tomatoes and Perone tomatoes. I know which one is which, so it doesn't matter that they are mixed together. Round of watermelon, looking great. This is the tomato plant that got broken in half and actually looks like our best tomato plant, surprisingly. It has bounced back lovely, standing straight because it was buried so deep. And it has, I noticed before, it does have some flower buds on it. Just have to find those again. There's some right there. Here's our pepper plants. And this one took some damage. It looks like something ate it. That's okay. That's why we plant extra. Now last but not least, we have all our squash. This is a or actually this is a spaghetti squash, a pasta squash. And then we have zucchini squash, which are putting on a lot of female flowers and just started putting on male flowers. So I hand pollinated these to make sure that we actually get these zucchinis. Another zucchini here. Another zucchini. Our last mound of watermelon. And then this last row is all pasta squash. And that's all we have here at this garden. And I will bring you along next week to show you all the new growth. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.